Hey guys, this is Amo Science here. So I thought I would just do like a, an update video because we haven't posted in a while. Um, so recently uh, we've been working on uh, rocketry uh, again, uh, a forge for like melt metals, and uh, we've also been working on a possible go kart from a lawnmower engine. And then I've been delving into uh, a little bit of RC stuff so this is like a foam board plane that i've made and right now it's kind of broken because the main flight wasn't too good like the motor mount was broken i just made out of balsa so that it would absorb the impact because the motor sits here and that's the first thing that'll hit the ground so when it hits the ground uh the balsa should break away and cushion the blow for like the foam board body and this whole thing is made from like dollar dollar tree foam board so this thing probably only cost me like three dollars to make and it's it's pretty big um i mean this is a foot of copper tubing and that's so that's like scale i guess you could say um We'll probably make a, uh, a video in the future about this and how to maybe make your own for cheap. Uh, none of the parts here cost more than like $10, maybe with the exception of uh, a trans or a receiver and uh, a transmitter. And I already had those laying around. So, um, But back to the topic of rocketry, the reason why it's been taking so long is uh because i'm trying we're we're trying new things uh, at aimless science and uh we, we've taken a lot of your comments into consideration from our other videos so we're trying to make our, our rockets safer uh easier to make so that we can uh, upload more videos and try new things and then also more efficient so let me get started with uh one of your guys's uh, bigger comments. Uh, let me just put the camera down real fast. All right. So one of our uh, comments on the other video uh, was kind of rude and suggested that uh, instead of lighting the uh, the bottom of the rocket, we should try lighting from the top or like from the inside of the rocket. Say if this side was the bottom right here by my pinky. If this side was the bottom and then this side was the top, then we should put the igniter somewhere inside where the fuel is and then ignite it and then once the rocket's lit the all the igniter remnants would be pushed through the rocket engine and then it would light evenly and, and safely that way so uh we have tried we've tried using rocket igniters before and or like these are a little modified we put like uh rocket fuel itself on the igniter part to act as like a little wedge to kind of get it seated in the hole a little more but also to give uh, the igniters a little more uh, power to ignite the rest of the fuel because um, the igniters from like Estes engines don't really like to all the time uh, ignite awesome, um, rocket candy so we tried we're gonna try these guys out and see if they work and so that'll be uh, probably its own video and maybe we'll group that with the uh, the rocket and the new rocket engine but um, let me give you let me give you a uh, brief rundown of what we've been doing lately since our last video which was a long time ago but uh, anyway so right here is a it's kind of a crooked piece of metal but I made it using uh, the lathe from like, uh, it's just from like Harbor Freight, it's a really crappy lathe, but it does the job for like an amateur like us. So I kind of like it, but anyway, um, what this is, is a, uh, a mold for a rocket engine. As you can see, it's kind of shaped like a, uh, uh, it has like a um, diverging section and then when we would pack the fuel in, we'd create the converging section that brings it in to the choke point right here. And then it diverges out. So this is a, 
our like mold stand that we would start with. So basically, let me uh, let me run you down how our new process of making a rocket would be. Okay, so to make the rocket, what we would do is we would take our uh, our empty uh, rocket casing, like say this guy right here, and this is just uh, a steel pipe. And basically, you're gonna put it on over the uh, the mold, and then say if this were empty, right now it's full of fuel. Um, but if it were empty, uh, what we would do is pour in some of this clay. This is uh, powdered bentonite clay from cat litter. It kind of looks like this. Uh, hold on. This is what it looks like. So what we did was we took uh, the cat litter and we put it into a uh, or I put it into a mortar, mortar and pestle, ground it up, and then I put it into uh, a blender to get it even finer. As you can see, uh, it's kind of like the consistency you want, like a, a powdered sugar, but uh, there are some like small clumps in here, but. It's not terrible, so I think it's good enough to work with. And then you're gonna want to dry it out because you don't you don't want it wet when uh, otherwise it'll get the fuel wet. But you uh, you do want it like a little moist so that you can kind of like uh, shape it a little bit. But it's better to store it dry than to store it wet. So what you do is you grab the clay and you put it uh, in your rocket container and then. You're gonna grab like a ramrod and push the clay down into the container and what it's gonna do is it's gonna form a nozzle kind of something like like this but it's gonna turn out a lot better because when we made this one the clay was uh, first off it wasn't very fine and second off uh, we already lit this rocket engine as a test and some of it chipped away so yeah but it'll make a uh, diverging and uh, converging uh, nozzle inside the rocket and then when you have that finished you're gonna pour your fuel uh, on top of that and pack that down and so this is a like the first prototype of like the internal nozzle maker or yeah, I guess you could call it that. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty rough around the edges. This thing's not even straight. I don't know if, how well this is going to show up on camera. But it's got a lot of bends in it because when I was making it, I had uh, I was using the smaller, or holding on to the smaller diameter while working on uh, the larger diameter end. So, and the material was hot, so it allowed it to bend. But uh, what I'm going to do is I have some aluminum, and uh, I'm gonna make remake the uh, the nozzle insert out of uh, some solid aluminum, and then what will happen is this piece right here will extend all the way through the or where I want it to uh, extend through the rocket engine itself, say here, so that way all the fuel from this point and down will be cored kind of similar to this right here except for we wouldn't have to core it in a different step we could do it all at the same time so that's the plan right now and then I'm gonna use this dowel right here to make a, a ramrod and again this is just an update video so there'll be more specs later but uh, this is like the main idea right here I'll probably take a picture and put it in the video so that you guys can see it better but um we basically want to make the fuel and say something like this copper pipe like basically pour the fuel in here and then like make this into smaller sections like so we can fit it in uh, like a like a hole pour the fuel in here and then have the fuel in what's called a grain and a grain of fuel is like a solid piece of fuel that's maybe this big and you have two grains that fit inside the rocket engine and then you have your nozzle in the final section 
so that it's more like modular so every time you can you can make the nozzle at a different time and then make the fuel at different times too and this will allow you to do more uh, like you can fire a rocket multiple times in the same day instead of having to remake an entire new rocket so that's the game plan for rocketry right now again it's taking a long time as uh, it's the summer and uh, we're all still in high school so we're all, we all have jobs.